My fiance believes that he is a real life superhero. Just fighting crime and taking care of business. His real name is Giovanni. That is not the name that defines me. My name is Goose Wayne. I refuse to call him Goose, but I call him G. He started believing that he was a superhero only about two weeks after we got engaged. One day, my fiance bought a mask. I wear gloves, I wear a belt. I usually keep all kinds of items in my pockets here. He bought a suit and then a grappling hook came. My pants, they have knee pads. I might be Kevlar in here, I'm not exactly sure. This is not just for attention. He is a 24 hour superhero. This is real life, this is not some sort of fairy tale. My fiance doesn't go anywhere without the makeup on if he doesn't have the mask. Sometimes I'm embarrassed to be seen with him. G wearing the mask has definitely hurt our sex life. For the past five months, I've been going to sleep with the mask on. When I'm sleeping next to him and he's wearing the mask, his breathing echoes in his mask and he sounds like Darth Vader. <laughs> I think he looks like a raccoon with just the eye paint on. I almost at this point prefer the mask over the raccoon face. You're a funny girl. G really does patrol his neighborhood looking to fight crime. Right now I'm going to the gas station, gonna see if there's any trouble going on over there, and I might even come back with some beers. He has been in real fights before. What's up, Gotham? Looking for the newest villain on the block. Who's next? He's driven upwards of two hours to fight someone that looked like the Joker. He has lost all of the fights. If G wants to get married with the makeup or the mask on, there's absolutely no chance I will go through with that. If you want to marry me, you have to marry Goose Wayne, period. I'm not going to let him show up looking a fool in front of all my friends and family. All right, Caitlin, it's good to meet you, and nice I'm you. really glad you're here. You've known him since you were 14. Yes. And he was four years? Yes. In the military? And from 14, 15, 16 on up, he never showed this type of behavior, correct? No, so I've known him a really long time. Um, he has been the normal man that I've known until probably late July of this year, right after we got engaged. This is him before. You know, he's a handsome looking, healthy guy, served in the military. You make a very handsome couple. And then here you are afterwards. What happened along about that time? Anything you can point to? No, so that's why I'm here. I was hoping you can kind of help me figure out what exactly is. I don't know if you've seen this before, <clears throat> if it's common, or... Well, just one day he, he went to bed as Giovanni and woke up as Batman? No, so it was this very gradual process, and it's peaked now. So it's been like this three, four, five month pro process of him developing into this superhero character. I know it, it might look funny and seem funny, but it's not a joke to him, um, at least. Yeah. And it's not a joke to you. I mean, I don't know how to, how to take it because this is such a unique situation that I've never had to deal with. This is not something that normal people do on a daily basis, that they dress up and put on makeup and a whole costume and kind of parade around. And you know of no particular event, no death in his family, no firing from a job, no drug activity that corresponds with him starting this process. No. And at first, you weren't particularly concerned about it. It was just kind of a hobby or a, a goof or yeah, just I thought something he, he was doing. Yeah, I just thought he was doing it to be funny. Let me ask you this. Do you have a standard here? If he says, this is who I am, this is who I'm going to be, this is what I intend to devote my life to, I am forever going to continue this, would you marry him? Deep down, I want to say yes, because this is the man that I want to be with for the rest of my life. But at well, the same time, I'm making so many sacrifices and accommodations for his, his lifestyle, and I don't feel like he's doing the same for me. I'm curious how much you're willing to enable this or how much you're willing to say, you need to choose between that and me because you can't have both. I want this to fizzle out. I know that it's not like maybe some cold turkey thing that he's going to snap out of, but I know, understand this is going to be a process to get him back to... Okay, but if this is delusional then that needs to be dealt with and it needs to be treated. Yes. And one of the things that I would have to ask of you in order to help you is that you not become part of the delusional fabric and enable him by going along with this because that gives him a false message. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.